Hey everybody, this is Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a new tutorial what we're gonna study the mechanics of doing a side jump. Okay, basically when you jump on the little wall, changing direction and jump on the opposite side. We're gonna study the way shift uh, and all things related. Okay, guys? So, at the beginning here, part of the run was already done. I just focused mostly on the, on the jump itself. And uh, you see me here, I'm starting basically with the, the poses where, uh, you know, the foot behind, we have the last frame of the, of the contact, right? Uh, so basically this is the extreme where this is the last pose where the feet are touching the floor, right? So we're trying to push the line of action here, okay? Um, rotate a little bit more the body on the side because eventually it's gonna uh, change direction diagonally. And then you see me doing directly the keys um, where the character is putting the first feet, the front feet, on the ground, right? So you see me adjusting here a little bit the position of the uh, of the object, and you see me readjusting a little bit more the, um, um, how to say, the position of the feet himself, okay? I don't want the, the front leg super straight, okay? Just a little bit bent. As you can see, the body mid-air, as soon as you started to jump, it's already start anticipating to, um, to rotate on the right side, okay? You don't want the rotation to happen last minute, okay? You want to prepare your body early, right? Because here, when, when we're going to do down position, we're going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, change mid-air, right? So, you see me doing some in-between here, very quickly, when I continue to maintain the... the um, the foot on the ground, okay, exaggerate the up and down, right? And now what you see me doing, I'm adjusting the, the, the frame, all right, in the middle of the jump, okay? Because I want to have, a, an, have an arc, right? So in the middle part of the jump, the body is going higher, and you see me basically adjusting the, the foot, all right? That's what's happening. And once I start to adjust this one, the up and down, I started to adjust the moving forward of the body as well. Okay, it's something I want to make sure that the, the speed moving forward is not actually um, decelerating or anything. All right, so it's, you kind of see me tweaking stuff like that. So I would recommend you also to use the arc tracker to look at the arc on the COG and the feet and stuff like that. Or maybe if you want to do it early, I'll leave it up to you. And, um, and, and what you see me doing here right now, uh, you see me also exaggerating a little bit more the up and down. Uh, and this is, guys, I don't want you just to copy, as usual, I talk about this many times, I don't want you to just copy my tutorial here. I want you to uh, understand what the mechanics uh, and then going from there and modify and do your own change and exaggerate based on whatever style and stuff you have. So here you see me to go to the down pose where the body is going down to the extreme down and to the extreme to the left side, okay? And as soon as we go here, the body started to rotate more and the foot behind is getting a little bit closer. Uh, however, now on the other frame, the body started to go in the opposite direction, a little bit higher, continue the rotation, but the foot is continue to go to the left side because foot, foot and SOG don't move at the same time, right? And uh, at the same time, you see the FOV is moving. If you go front view, it's moving more to the to the right side. Okay, so we start. We need, always need to remember we need to move things in 3D, not just in in 2D. All right. You see me here adjusting a little bit the position of the foot, right? And now creating the other uh, poses where again is the stretch where the foot behind is last frame it touch on the ground, right? You can see me the line of action here. All right, adjusting the foot. Uh, continue with the rotation, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna tweak a little bit. I think that the leg is a little bit overstretched, right? Okay, now it's, uh, you probably see the, the, the play blast at, uh, at double speed when, when I'm doing this, but uh, again, it's important here you understand the mechanics of what I'm doing, not just copy what I'm doing. And the, the jump forward, I wanna keep it in a straight diagonal line, all right? So, see, like, we want to make sure when you do jump like that, you keep uh, um, track of the direction. Uh, mistake that usually happens very often, people do jump in the air, and if you look at the trajectory from top view, stuff like that, the jump go all in weird rotation, okay? Uh, so again, it's important when you do a jump that you track very early 
the trajectory of your jump. And here I'm again I'm doing the contact when the jump is uh, uh, touching the ground, the foot in the front touching the ground, right? Uh, this is very important to look your animation from uh, every angle, all right? See, I'm trying to adjust a little bit because I don't want the front leg overstretch. A little bit, I think it's it's all right, but not too much. And you see me having the foot behind, kind of uh, dragging, all right? Okay, you see me here controlling things from multiple direction, and the foot started to uh, rotate a little bit more to anticipate if it is going to go to the to the right side, all right? And now we're gonna do the down position here after the, the landing, right? And as you can see, guys, in these cases, I'm not using any keyframe or anything. Sorry, I'm not using any reference. Uh, I'm just showing you what you can do and how easily you can do when you have the knowledge of body mechanics. When you learn and memorize how body mechanics work, you can do pretty much everything, um, even if you don't have the uh, uh, like a reference because you know how the human body works. Okay, here you see me working on the highest part of the jump, by the way, that's all I was doing right now. And again, many times I mentioned this in my tutorial, when the foot are in the air for more than a couple of frames, I'm always going to reset the controller for the uh, foot roll and stuff like that. I'm going to use the main controller of the foot to adjust the rotation. Okay, minor tweaking, minor tweaking I'm doing here. Okay, and now I'm going to start to make with the in-between with the acceleration deceleration and I want to make sure that the foot gets planted every two frame okay and it's not uh, rolling the the foot roll is not rolling basically too soon okay and I'm starting to think about it maybe there is a moment where I need to adjust the timing and bring things a little a little bit closer okay so it's, you see me most of the time my keys are every two frame, guys, but there are moments if it's needed where it can be every three frames as well. Okay, but most of the time for body mechanic shot, um, I'm gonna work on, uh, um, you know, frame, every, every a key every two frame, more or less, all right? And one more time, once I've done the, block, the, the, uh, the blocking plus, I'm gonna go and adjust the arc of the, C, uh, of the COG, okay? I do it sideways first because I want to check the up and down and then I'm going to go more top view as you can see here I'm trying to do the uh, the art tracker right to adjust things in, in top view right see like uh, even when you do things in, in step mode if you do things correctly your animation is pretty much done if you do things correctly when you do the blocking plus right and same stuff here now I want to adjust the trajectory of your foot right and you see there was a spacing issue there on on the foot and i want to have a little bit of drag in the rotation okay all right and you see me adjusting all this and doing all the other foot again very important this is something i think a lot of people don't do when they do the blocking plus they tend to um not really understand what one is to be done in terms of uh, details right uh, and i see i'm doing the arc now for example for the box that represent the head right I'm, I'm rotating the cog in order to make sure it looks pretty much clean and this is the final result okay as you can see it's very convincing you see the acceleration deceleration of the weight one is reaching the end before changing angle and it's looking quite good even when we're looking from other side Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and if you have any questions let me know in the comments.